Thank you very much. And I, I welcome the opportunity to give my support to the nomination again of, of the Ombudsman. And I wonder, Minister, could you make a, um, a promise here today that at the very least that we will have a debate at least once a year on the annual report of the Ombudsman? Because it's really worth looking at the annual report and his submission to the uh, UN Committee on the Rights of the Child and on the list of issues prior to reporting on the fourth periodic examination of Ireland. If you read the two reports together, one could easily despair, although the Ombudsman points out to the, the limited improvements in terms of some legislation, he highlights the most serious issues. And I know you're familiar with that, Minister, but at this point, we have a report after report. Indeed, one would have to question why we need an Ombudsman in the first place, although I'm, I'm fully supportive of his office. But imagine we need an Ombudsman to enforce what should be basic human rights in relation to housing, health, disability and uh, members of, of uh, minority groups. But we need an ombudsman's office to monitor the health executive, to, to monitor Tuzla, to monitor local authorities. That in itself is deserving of a debate. And then in relation to the reports that he has before us, I, 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 it, I think it's the first time we've had a debate. I think, the pre or I think it's the first time it's been down for an item. On the last occasion, I think, subject to your correcting me, there was absolutely no debate at all. I hope this is the start of a debate. So what are the serious issues that he's raising? He's raising the most serious issues in relation to mental health or the absence of mental health care for children, the absence of data. We have no proper data. He's reinforcing the need for housing to be part of the constitution and to look at housing for children and families as a basic human right. He goes out to, on to highlight the fact that we failed to uh, ratify the protocol under the Disability Convention. And he also tells us that we need to ratify the protocol, the optional protocol, uh, in relation to children again. At the, the very last page, and I'll just be careful, to ratify the optional protocol to the Convention on the Rights of the Child. Can you imagine this now, Minister? On the sale of children, child prostitution and pornography, without further delay, imagine we need an ombudsman to tell us that's what we need to do in relation to children. And again, you're a relatively new minister, and I'm not here to harangue you. But let's do things differently, and I've said this to you before. If we have an ombudsman and we have reports, let's have time within the doll to look at the good things that have happened and also the gaps and the serious issues that this man and his office of 20-something staff are raising with us. They're telling us, please look at this, please do something about it. So given the thumbs up to the ombudsman, is, is good, who could object to that? But far more useful would be to have a debate on what the government thinks are your next steps. When is the legislation, the promised review in relation to the Children Act, when is that going to be done? What about the mental health legislation that we've been promised to review and an update on? None of that. My time is out, so I'll stop at this point. Thank you.